Hare Krishna everyone. So first of all, I'd like to thank His Grace Narayan Shah Prabhu for this enlightening talk, uh, taking us from the material happiness to the spiritual happiness and sharing the secret of how to access that unlimited happiness by giving up our material plans and accessing the plans of Guru and Gauranga, cultivating service attitude. And when we are trying to serve, serve beyond the expectations. Just don't do the needful, but go beyond the needful. Ultimately, try to please Vaishnavas. And when we please Vaishnavas, then Guru and Gauranga is pleased. Uh, uh, give a due justice to the felicitation uh, for our book marathon, uh, as well as for some of the devotees, you know, who could not take part in book marathon, but they round the year serve. So we'll start with the congregation first, and then we'll come to the youth uh, of the community and then start with. So first of all, uh, with our last uh, book marathon, uh, we had a first Hainam book distribution. For the first time, we had Hainam in Hinjawadi, which we hadn't done until now. And uh, with, Colonies. yeah, colonies, Hainam Sankirtan. It was led by His Grace and Shesh Prabhu, and he inspired the congregation. Everyone came together. So that's how we are planning to do it now, monthly Sankirtan festival. They just had it yesterday also. So first of all, I'd like to call His Grace Shesh Prabhu uh, to receive this gift, which is given on behalf of the temple for our book distribution efforts. Haribo! Haribo! 4,401. We just crossed our last year's somehow. <laughs> somewhere around 4,300 or something. <laughs> um, after that, uh, so through this, as I said, Proji, I would briefly also introduce all the families uh, because we couldn't have that before. So we have uh, Ashish Prabhu and Mother Gunjan. They're not here. I'm not sure if they're online. By any chance anyone knows they're online? Uh, fine, but in case uh, if this is recorded, we'll play for them. So they, Ashish Prabhu and Gunjan Mataji, they got connected almost a year or two before. And they took the serious lead of organizing this monthly Sankirtan festival under the guidance of Anishesh Prabhu. So they, both, both. Yeah, Prasadam is we distribute the snack Prasadam as part of it. So it's not a monthly, we're trying to do more often. So during a marathon, it was almost every Saturday and Sunday probably. And now we'll do it as many Saturday. We're going to do it now because until now it was locked down and during the marathon, the emphasis was book distribution. Uh, during marathon it was. Now we'll try as much as we can do it because things have opened up, so we'll have more opportunity. And we have a lot of societies around here, so we can go ahead. Uh, you know, So that's that's our plan which is going on. So then we'll have Atul Prabhu and Mother Anshu. Uh, so for book marathon prize. And this is a family who had uh, hosted the program we you know accepted the Srimad Bhagavatam uh, from yourself. So they contribute and assist a lot also with the Evolve Pony activities. Uh, as you know of that, we had uh, we had done those international competitions. So they both were actually really assisting me wholeheartedly in that international uh, festivals. I guess we had two, three competitions we did that, right? Like that, we did that. Then we have Kaushal Prabhu and others. I take it now. You should do it. Uh, I mean, something not. No, uh, are you? Is it recorded? Ah, oh, that's recorded. Fine. So you have to come on this side. Can we have a? All of you can move in here. Rough. Left on your right. Kaushal Prabhu and Mother Ashwini are they there? Yes. Please pass on the gifts. So, so Kaushal Prabhu and Mother Ashwini, they are the entire back end of our Revolve Pony website. Uh, they help a lot in organizing all website related services and she handles all our communication. <laughs> Such a high quality website it is. Uh, and all the you know courses are put up and it looks extremely professional. Yeah. Yeah. So, although there are many LMSs available, still you put the right content in the right place. And uh, uh, I'm hearing people from different parts of the country, across the globe, they say, you know, when you say Eval Pune, people know it. 
and it just caught evolve and said oh, we know it we are already connected this eh? <laughs> wonderful thank you thank you his grace godham prabhu and mother chitra so we like to give them propa dt that's what i thought uh, as a gift for them they have a beautiful shishi gandhi tana altar <laughs> so mother chitra is our head cook our kitchen in charge <laughs> she is the one who designs all the menu and everything and godam prabhu apart from book distribution he assists with all managerial related services either be accountant all yatra which we do which you know of very well uh, he is one who assists me entirely i has a lot of lot of hard work which he does <laughs> and uh, and the wonderful kids aman prabhu who plays a wonderful madanga and you know so wonderful there <laughs> so one of family thank you thank you then uh, please know this is not in any chronological order he wrote the names i'm reading it <laughs> i mean i'm standing in a situation where somebody may feel like did you follow some order or something i'm just reading it out okay okay yeah i just want to make a disclaimer here his case ram krishna pu and mother she is there ram krishna pu is i go go sana mata ji so the disciple of his name is radha govind maharaj and uh, we organize this uh, ekadashi uh, harinam festival so where we bring in devotees and chant at least 64 rounds and more during lockdown we bring online and then in the last i guess we did it during kartik right we started here starting uh, assembling at 2:30 in the morning and then chant 64 rounds so all that coordination on my we have ram krishna pur mother vasana would do that and help you know bring in people then publish the result to inspire them keep on sending quotations about chanting and all that we <laughs> it was on the festivals when it started and then during from kartik i guess we make it made it on ekadashi we have to again pick it up now the new year has started we were busy but we'll do that so that's what they manage and you know and of course many many other services <laughs> hari bo <laughs> rinku prabhu and madhav bhagashri hari bo <laughs> Rinku Prabhu who was uh, staying with us at the center. He got connected with us, joined the center. He came to temple and there he met a bald brahmachari. That's what he said, oh, Takle brahmachari. That's how, our, <laughs> that's how our connection began. I said, don't worry, I'll also make you Takle one day. <laughs> you come along with me. <laughs> then so he started attending programs. and then he picked he comes from a, already a devotee family where in uh, his family they already worship krishna so that kind of sanskar was there and he also serves cows so they are the one who are running a goshala yeah in jawadi and they provide milk to uh, 14 and they both are it professional also working and managing the both of things and mataji you write an article about the it professional manager uh, goshala <laughs> yes please yes. we'll we'll soon have an article Our about that who in iit has got four professors having cows there yeah. that has become a talk of the town we are, we can make it talk of the town in hinjawadi now yeah why not we can publish iit professionals managing a nice goshala we have almost half an acre but we just were waiting for our temple land to get settled then bring them closer there and you know grow it further they actually want to take that whole artery being full fledged they don't want to continue with iit we're waiting for that time to happen right <laughs> <laughs> Then we have Subodh Prabhu and Mother Prachi. So last year last year we had uh, Jagannath Baldev Subodh Mahani welcome at their home and uh, he has a particular taste for serving the deities uh, 
when I go to his home, if there is a program, I give a disclaimer, beast minute deity worship. He doesn't stop only. <laughs> so I have to give a disclaimer, Mother Prachi. They, they, they are the initial couples who are connected with us from Blue Ridge, uh, from the initial, when we started our program. Uh, both have been rendering many, many services. Mother Prachi takes active part in our Bhakti school, as I said, you know, organizing program for the kids, yeah. And also conducts programs for kids and also for mothers. And of course, all the mothers are part of the cooking team and other background services, garland making, serving the deities. They all do that. They also do morning programs. Yeah, so Saturday morning program. And yeah, you were talking about, you know, that uh, child uh, giving his piggy bank. Yeah. So I was remembering their daughter, Gagi. Last year, you know, Ga you know, so temple and thing is going on now. So I don't know if they instilled the idea or she had that idea. Uh, so she had the she's here so i guess somewhere in november last year uh gave all her piggy bank collection whatever you know um, i don't know the details of it yeah i mean in terms of whatever birthday collections whatever she had and very eager that we should have a temple here and she gave all her savings as you, you were saying that it's very difficult for a child to do it so i was remembering Agi that time so that's the daughter Haribo. <laughs> We have Manish Prabhu and Mother Mayurika. So they are the actual first couple who got connected. I mean, before them, there was also one, one devotee who actually got connected, couple, but they moved to Bangalore now. So they are the oldest <laughs> part of our community and through them, everyone gradually got connected. Uh, Banishpu takes all our accounting responsibility, very, very pakka for that. Anything for accounting, Banishpu handles for festivals, yatras and everything. Mother Maika is the backbone of the whole community for all different services. Every services, you were asking that time who drew that Chaitanya Mahapur, na? that's Mother Maika. And that Hare Krishna Mahamantra is your cousin, sister or nephew, nephew. You know, so very, very talented with different things, and so last year we had Shishi Gornitai did you welcome it? No, this year, last year, last year, last year we had Shishi Gornitai did you welcome at the home? So at their place and Subhat Prabhu and Mother Prachi's place, we have this alternate morning program because we shifted from Blue Ridge to here, so now we go back to Blue Ridge and have programs, so they host the morning program. Uh, once in a month, alternatively. Haribo, Haribo. <laughs> Shekhar Prabhu and Mother Dipasha. <laughs> Haribo. And Brinda so one of the members born in the community so they they actually support me with all my programs so all whatever programs i do they are the host as we discussed you know we should have a host so both of them are part of it so i mean they're there for me to bank on whenever i have to do something so they're always there she's a professor teacher at our symbiosis management and he's an it professional with a wonderful daughter Hare Krishna, who comes and speaks very loudly, Vrinda. <laughs> when she learns your name, next time she'll tell you Hare Krishna, Radha Sham Prabhuji. <laughs> she says like that. She makes sure she addresses it properly. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. We have our Varan Prabhu and Mother Neha. Are they here? Hi, Bo. So they got connected last year. Recently, they moved also here. And a very, very sincere family, uh, taking very actively part in various services. And uh, and very quickly, they picked up to 16 rounds of chanting. And very sincere. They have two wonderful. Last year, around February, it was all during lockdown. So they're all attending online. So they live next door only, in this, in this society only. And then Prabhuji also started coming. Mother came first, then Prabhu started coming. And they're very, very sincere practicing devotees. 
Hagi bol and they were all part of the book distribution marathon. They went out. Hagi bol. Our Gaurav Prabhu and Rima Mataji are here. They couldn't come. Our Mother Kamalika, she's also not here. Okay, Vivek Kedia Prabhu, he's also not here. All right, so we'll call out some names. I hope I have not missed any name from the marathon. So we'll call out the name from the services uh, of Sanjeev Prabhu and Mother Kamana. <laughs> So they're also one of the initial congregation got connected from Megapolis. Probably they were the first one who got connected from here. And we we're talking about the Guru Kulna. Yeah, yeah. So Mother Kamil, Kama, Mother uh, names came, Kamna, yeah. I'm sorry, getting to Kamalika. That's the reason, yeah. Sorry. Mother Kamna, she does this uh, Guru Kul thing where we have a program. Yeah. Our schools. Also. I have preschool, Prabhuji. Yeah, like uh, two and a half to five. And the plan, yeah, plan is to grow it. Uh, Prabhuji, because of lo lockdown, I cut out some teachers, but now we have uh, 15 something teachers. Uh, last year, when it was not lo lockdown, that time it was 100, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, I got lots of his students, so again, it's increased a lot. <laughs> yeah. COVID. In COVID, we were taking online only. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 Prabhuji. We are teaching shlokas and all in class also. Thank you. Thank you. We have Deepak Isogi Prabhu and Mother Puvi. So there are various various services towards our community. Um, Mother Puvi takes part with our Bhakti school and uh, Prabhuji is getting trained up for Yatra manager. Yes, I, six to nine and nine plus if I'm correct, right? That's that's the two age group. Earlier it was English, English, yeah. I mean, much has not happened in the last one year. Now when we, yeah, when we open it, so then evening, Sunday evening program, other room, the other apartment. We took that place, but it haven't got utilized so far. <laughs> so we're hoping from March end, we'll be able to utilize it that way. So Mother Sundari leads that effort along with all the mothers. At my end, whatever education guidance I can give, and they plan it out the whole thing. Extra careful thing. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. And then we have Sachin Prabhu and Mother Poonam. So they live in Pune. Uh, they got connected with our online initiatives. Very, very sincere family. Um, and they live a little far off, but uh, anytime, even if a program is six o'clock in the morning, change work. Chickly. So around 20 kilometers from here. Yeah. So even if you have that morning program where DT service is there, they're there at six o'clock. Very sincere family and they can Krishna consciousness very nicely. Hi, Bo. Then we have a Pranav Prabhu and Mother Radhya. We can just have a space for Mother to come. Yeah. So this is a youngest couple who just got married. Yes. Yeah. So I. Yes. Initiated. Yeah. Initiative. She's the one who designed it. She's very good at it. So, Pranav Prabhu uh, does the very vital service at the background of training our community with musical instruments. He's an expert IT professional and more expert into music. I guess, except for Madanga, he play everything, right? 
That's the only instrument I haven't seen with his in his music room. Yeah. So cutting and tearing at the same time is not sustainable. So I have to. Yes. Devotionally and for our program, the with the kirtan that we do, he is just custom design one particular veena and also for Hari Nam Sankirtan. So he loves music and through music he wants to preach. Many, I see many many musical and children performances also I saw. It was part of our competitions that we did. We did three competitions so far, right? Uh, until now. The channel. I see what all are there. <laughs> That's the reason the subscriber keep increasing. <laughs> Hi, he is, uh, he is in, uh, one of his studio and planning to have children's band and musical. Oh, also, uh, and also, uh, we have few other devotees. Mother Puja is here. She can be there. Suchita Mata Jindipa Kandavat Prabhu. Okay. We have a Prasad Shirodka Prabhu and Mother Pallavi. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful family who had been connected for a while. Uh, a very devotional, interesting family where the kids become angry at father because father keeps listening to Bhagavatam class and he tells his sons, you go to school. So the sons tells the father, you are a sense gratifier. You, you don't let us enjoy and you enjoy. A wonderful, very, very genuine family. Ridhan Devin. Ridhan Devin. Uh, how are you? Yeah, oh, very nice family. Always there. Then uh, we have a Vinayak Prabhu. Where is Vinayak Prabhu? Ah, oh, there, there. Hi. <laughs> So, uh, a great source of support for me at the back end, uh, one of the major contributors in financial way and also a wonderful uh, student. He comes from a South Indian family, from Sri Vaishnava background and his family and has a great taste for Srimad Bhagavatam study and uh, his questions are also that, to that degree profound. He's a... He's a scientist by profession. Like that. So, you, you can put up a program in DRDO. In Hyderabad, we have a DRDO program with 25 30 scientists there. He, uh, most of the scientists are devotees, Prabhu. Yeah. Srinivas Prabhu and all these uh, devotees, we got connected in a DRDO training. But in our lab, we tried, but in our lab, most are atheists. <laughs> <laughs> most are atheists. Uh, your situation is similar to Prahlad Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> we have our Anuch Prabhu and Mataji. <laughs> Komal Mataji. See, he's another couple from center. He got connected with us here. He came uh, to Hinjavadi. And after four days, we abducted him from his company <laughs> and we brought him to center. And for one month, he was under trauma. <laughs> and he would stand at the balcony, look at the sky. When will I get deliverance? <laughs> and we had just started the center, so I was living there. So I would make sure that I bolt the door in the night so he doesn't run away. <laughs> Finally, gra gradually got settled off me. So he now, so, so he stayed with us for many years. And two years ago, both of you got married. Yeah, two years ago, both of them got married. And they're living in Hinjavadi only. So again, part of the, our community and backbone does many, many services for you. Then, Jaya Prabhu and Mother Smita. Nihar is here? Oh, yes. So... It's been almost two plus years they got connected just before the lockdown. 
and uh, Jay Pro is a fantastic cook. They're from Kerala actually, staying in Pune. Uh, he's a fantastic cook. He is a pro guitarist. He loves to, he knows musical instrument and when we have a kitten, he joins me along to play on guitar. And similarly, mother does many uh, back-end services for the community and support us. Hari Bo! Lakshman Prabhu and Mother Preeti, are they here? We have Mukesh Prabhu and Mother Anjubala. So Mukesh Prabhu and Mother Anjubala also got connected during long term. Uh, probably more from last, yeah, one and a half year. And they live uh, in the same society. And uh, in this society only, this is a family. And very in the short term, they have paid, taken to Krishna consciousness very nicely. They're there for every program. Your mother is also here? Uh, so, I mean, uh, at least, yeah, they come from, they have a devotional family. So does Mother Anjubala has been connected to uh, spiritual life before. And Prabhuji's father used to read Bhagavad Gita, was very, very uh, strong into spiritual culture. So that's how he is imbibed. And that is going down the next generation <laughs> like that. So thank you. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. So we'll come to the youths now. And please excuse me if I miss anyone. You know whom to blame. Okay. So that's where the lists have come. Okay. So with our youths. Uh, Vishwakaran Prabhu. So, I really can't manage communication. He's the one who does all of our communication for all online, everything, community announcement, uh, WhatsApp, email, whatever it is. Wish you, and that's tons of communication. And for all my services, whatever I have from the center and to uh, you know, connect with the community, Wish You Can Prove does all the backend services. A uh, lot of, lot of service contributions. <laughs> we have Madhav Prabhu. <laughs> Uh, our Brahmana from Varanasi, right? Kanoj. Kanoj, Kanoj, We met on a book distribution. I was standing alone at Hinjavadi Chowk in those days. And this fellow saw, felt pity on me. <laughs> <laughs> I would go in those days, stand on a Hinjavadi Chowk, open the card dicky and give out books. So somehow he felt pity and came to me. And when I gave him a book, he said, no, I want Ramayan, which I didn't had. <laughs> So I said, I will not let you go. So I gave him a card for program. So that's how he got connected and gradually moved. He has been living here, does DT service and a lot of backend services for the center like that. Hi, Bo. <laughs> Shivam Lad Prabhu is not here. So Shivam Patriya Prabhu. <laughs> he got connected in Indore. And after that, when he came for office, he's been staying here with us for several years now. Uh, does a lot of services, or whatever is needed in the center, uh, with DT services, kitchen management, uh, out outreach, doing programs, and also going for book distribution. His grace, Prashant Sarvabhama Prabhu. <laughs> Last year, he took shelter of his holiness, Gopal Krishna Maharaj. And uh, he serves as a project manager or, you know, PM. So manages on my behalf, everything in the center. Prashant Sarvabhama. And uh, very sober. So he doesn't lose his temper. <laughs> so devotees are happy <laughs> and dealing with him. I will. Ritesh Prabhu is not here. Vithal Prabhu. <laughs> Uh, cousin of Sakshya Chut Prabhu, right? Yeah, so cousin of Sakshya Chut Prabhu. So he's been staying here. And... Uh, oh, mother. Is it? Yeah. His real brother. That's his real brother, yeah. 
we have ashok prabhu so ashok prabhu does many many services particularly dt related services taking a tulsi mahani decorating the altar guest care and one of the best thing about him is you have to just tell him once and he does beyond expectation as you were talking about it he's one example one example that i can quote you tell him and you can push off and he will do it hardly any uh, hardly follow up is required and learns very quickly and puts his art he loves book distribution yesterday they went for dmart and distributed 20 maha big books there so very very enthusiastic he needs your special mercy to sort out his tathashta plan <laughs> <laughs> then I, so we will contact them so when he will visit so we will tell him to bring from those like that then we have abhishek prabhu so he is decided his uh, shelter taking he is taking uh, planning to move to temple this year uh, so uh, so yeah like that and uh, he supports me with all all online activities he is the one who organizes everything uh, with everything otherwise it's not possible for me to do so abhishek prabhu is the man who supports me so he's there around with me 24 by 7 to assist with all the programs Hari Bo Prashant Deshme Prabhu Devangan Oh Prashant Devangan Prabhu Prashant Devangan So uh he got a book from us first and then when he got a book he said I don't need a guru I'll read myself so he went on reading but he read he read systematically and then when he read gopa said you need guru you need guru then he called us up <laughs> <laughs> and then he moved it so that's how he came to krishna consciousness <laughs> he was living in this society only so we used to do door to door book distribution so i believe pranjit who met him so he said bluntly no i don't need guru i'll do it myself and then propa told him you know you need a guru then he called us back okay we need a guru i said you come in <laughs> Hi bo shadu So uh, he's the one who work, graduated studied in America uh worked there then he came back and then he started staying with us and he assisted with many many services and now he has uh, decided to take up a job he's working now and uh, soon going to get settled but has done lot of services he still is part of the community so thank you all and uh, uh, thanks to each one of you for joining for jo- for joining in for this program once again oh that's all right so fine hare krishna shila prabhupada ke his grace is arshan prabhu ke so let us uh, with a great heart uh, thank uh, his grace arshan prabhu for taking his time we're here to enlighten our heart with a very important subject how to cultivate uh, service attitudes uh, and yes dependence and that's what the service attitude part which i feel is the most important need of the hour of the community so thank you so much prabhu ji